Hey, Ray, what, what impressed you most about just how your team played tonight? I don't think anybody's hit over 300 against Creighton all year. It was what the stat that I just got. We hit 302 in a, a pressure situation like that. So offensively, 64 kills in a four-set match. I mean, we had 20 in the second set and 18 crunch time in the, in the, third, in the fourth set. So um, there's times we couldn't slow them down, uh, but offensively, boy, were we, we were really good tonight. Yeah, you uh, in that fourth set, I think you're down 15-11. Did you sense anything kind of change from that that point on? We uh, we just made a commitment to hitting the ball a bit harder when we were serving. Uh, they were making good passes. Our setter had a lot of choices, and we we're having a hard time slowing them down. So I think our serving picked up um, just slightly through uh, through them off a little bit, obviously, and we picked up our level of play. Defensively, we started making some good transition plays. And next thing you know, we're, you're, we're I think we got to 21st. So uh, it was a good 10 point stretch right there. What's, I mean, you, you kind of see when the, the game is final, the match is final, everybody, you know, just floods onto the court, a lot of emotion. What What's it mean to the players just to have this type of run? Yeah, it, it I think it just, uh, it uh, verifies. Uh, the work they put in, you know, most of them were here all summer doing voluntary stuff, uh, getting together, working hard. We, we've had a, you know, a, the Big 12 Conference was a, a really good league this year. Um, and I think it prepared us for this. And we've got uh, a nice mix of people who, with a little experience, we got some young folks that are really getting better each and every time. And um, this time of year, some teams are just trying to hold on. I think we're on an uptick. I, I'm telling our kids we're getting better and better. So that's about all you could ask for. Yeah, you you mentioned you mentioned a lot how young the team is. Did did you get have a sense earlier in the year that you might have this type of run in you? Uh, <laughs> it's hard to predict uh, when you're 12 and 11 and you're you're looking outside in for NCAA tournament, and then suddenly. The kids flip a switch. And I think the staff, we had patience with this group. We didn't give up on them. Uh, we came to work every day and got a little bit better. And uh, we've hit a, we've, we, we're riding a pretty good wave right now where we're playing extremely well. And uh, the newcomers aren't freshmen anymore. They've, they've got uh, 29 matches under their belt and they're starting to play pretty better in volleyball. And it starts with tonight, Cam Turner was uh, uh, 51 assists and 13 digs. And, uh, she she did a great job distributing the ball and and offensively we were we were we were clicking on all cylinders. Any more questions for your coach? Coach, you took two key timeouts, one in the second set and one in the fourth set. After both those timeouts, it started a comeback run. What did you tell your team during those timeouts to inspire that change? Yeah, it, I mean. It just to, you know, you take a time out in volleyball. And I think it's, uh, you can break momentum in our sport probably as much as any with just a break. Hey, let's take a deep breath. Let's, let's regroup. Let's be assignment correct. Let's go out and play aggressive. And um, we've got a little bit of underdog mentality and um, they come out and respond well. I think they really believe in each other right now. They trust each other, trust what we got going on from a game plan perspective. And, um, it shows when they when they respond that way. Ray, I think this was the exact opposite of five years ago. Does it help to play as the underdog sometimes in these sorts of scenarios? I tell you what, in 16, we carried around the, the expectations of the volleyball world, we felt like. So, yeah, we were a lot freer of mind tonight. But uh, give Creighton some credit. Man, they've done what a job she's done over time, over and over again been you know repeated excellence again and again and again so we had to earn it and uh our team fought hard so i, I was just happy that a, a team that is, does it the right way was going to advance and certainly we were thrilled that it was the jayhawks